makers, welcome to 3D Maker Noob. I'm Joe and in today's episode of Noob's 3D Printing Guide, it's time to put into practice all that we have learned so far. So in the last episode, I gave you a bit of an overview of how the recommended settings or the basic beginner settings work in Quora. I showed you what all the date fields and all the variables are for a 3D print, how you can change the layer height and everything. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to throw the same Charmander model that I used last time. I'm going to save it onto SD card. I'm going to throw it in the printer and we're going to see how it turns out and to see if it needs any modifications. So without further ado, let's jump on the PC and slice Charmander. So on the last episode, I gave you a bit of an overview of what the recommended settings are like and also gave you an idea of how you can interact with the object and change certain attributes towards the size of the object and orientation. So what we're going to do today is slice this model as we normally would and set it off to print. So once again, we're gonna choose our material, which in this case is PLA. We're gonna set a layer height, which in this case we'll do at 200 microns or 0.2 millimeter layer height. We will then set the infill percentage, which um, at 10%, as I said, is more than enough. And I'm not gonna enable the gradual infill because it's too much of a small model and it doesn't have any particular attributes that I want to it, either strong or not because it's pretty much just a simple little toy. I'm going to disable generate support because I know that the print doesn't have any steep overhangs that require support. So I'm just going to disable that. And knowing that PLA will stick very well to the build plate once it's clean, I'm just going to remove the build plate adhesion. So now that I've set my settings, I'm gonna to go to um, this drop down here and I'm gonna click on layer view just so I can have a preview of what the slicing will look like on the uh, printer itself. So once I start sliding down this bar, I can actually see that it looks fine. Um, this will come in very handy because sometimes some files may be corrupt. Sometimes you'll think, for example, that the infill is not strong enough so you might want to increase the infill and this gives you a good idea of what to expect out of a print and it might also give you an indication of where a print might fail however in this case it looks okay to me so i don't need to set any temperatures because this is the recommended it sets temperatures automatically based on generic information so pla usually prints around 200 degrees on the hot end and about 50 or 60 degrees on the build plate. So it assumes that those are the temperatures you need. If it doesn't print well, don't worry, we'll go into custom and we'll start tweaking. But for now, since it's the first custom print that we sliced, we're gonna work with the recommended PLA settings. Once that's done, you can save the G code. Now, if you don't have an SD card inserted in the PC, it will tell you save to file and it will give you a folder where you can save the G code. However, if you insert an SD card, it will instantly change to save to removable drive and you can choose which drive it is. Once you save, it will automatically save with that name right there. And it will ask you if you're done, you can eject the SD card. Click on eject. We're now gonna grab the SD card, throw it in the printer and see how this turns out. Here's the little guy right here and I have to say that as a first print without me tweaking anything without me setting any temperature parameters or speeds whatsoever I'm actually very surprised that I actually got such a really good looking quality print on the first try without actually modifying that much there are a few things which probably need improving but honestly speaking it, it actually looks really great, so I'm very happy with this. And that's basically, that's how easy it is to download something, slice it, throw it on a printer, and have the object in your hand within minutes or hours, depending on the size of it. So I highly recommend you go on Thingiverse, you go on My Mini Factory, Pinshape, whatever. Look for models that you can play around with and use different settings for and see how they look 
in Quora and then try printing them. If you fail, don't worry. Try again. It, it's just, that's the fun of it. Y you will have failures. You will have failed prints. You will have clogged nozzles. You'll have, there will be many things which will happen, not if, but when. But the beauty of it is that it's, you're not gonna break the printer. You're simply going to fix it and try again. That is it for me today, guys. In the next episode, what we're going to do is we're gonna look closer at this print right here and see what could have possibly have been done better. In the meantime, that is it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I wanna thank Profab3D and Polymaker for making this series possible. Please make sure you check them out in the links in the video description below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will be more than happy to reply to them. As always, click on the thumbs up if you enjoy this episode, share, subscribe, and as always, happy making, guys.